for joining us today on Envision. I am Deanne Conrad, Community Relations Supervisor, and we are talking about the school district calendar. We're coming to the end of the 17-18 school year, and always in April of that particular year, we look and say, did we have any school cancellations where we need to extend the year? And yes, we did. We did, and we almost had more in April. <laughs> <laughs> yes, which is why we wait. We, we did, yeah. You're right, we have, uh, so, so coming up, we'll have a conversation on the calendar with the Board of Education. Um, ultimately, the board is responsible for the shepherding of that calendar. And uh, we did have one day where we missed this year, and so it'll be our recommendation to the board that we make up that day for students, and that'll take our students into June, mm -hmm. then right till June barely 1st. Barely into June. Barely into <laughs> June. It'll take them, uh, instead of getting out of school on a Thursday, They'll get out of school on a Friday, June 1st, and graduation will be uh, will not be impacted by that. Graduation will still take place on on that Sunday, on June 3rd. Okay, so always hope it doesn't happen, but it's South Dakota, and we all know how crazy this season has been um, with the multiple snowstorms in April and such. So we will go into June, June 1st, for the last uh, school day for students. Now, we're also planning ahead for future calendars. Why do we plan so far in advance? We're looking um, at the 1920 calendar right, right now. Well, if you're somebody in your household who doesn't necessarily plan a year or two in advance for family activities, you would probably be like me in our household. <laughs> and me. <laughs> if you are somebody who's looking ahead to, will my kids be able to do this or that? Um, next summer in 2019 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or next summer in 2020, um, then you would be like my wife. <laughs> so oh. in, in, many, in many households, people really truly are looking out for, sure. for camps and vacations and all sorts of things for kids um, well in advance. And so we try, to, we try to get that information out to people for planning purposes as, uh, as soon as we can. So uh, next year we'll live a, a new calendar, a different mm -hmm. calendar than the one we've lived for the last three years. And uh, we've also got, then, uh, for the board's approval, an opportunity to look at that 2019-2020 uh, calendar as well. Right. So this, uh, for those who are summer lovers, we are getting out last day, June 1st, and then first day, August 23rd, um, there was a big committee group discussion mm -hmm. about um, we, we once were under the, the Labor Day, starting after Labor Day, and when that was voted upon, it was voted upon for three years, and then to be discussed again. And that's right. why we're moving it back, but with a ton of input. One of the things we really, we really wanted to do was make sure that we were listening to the, the many, many voices we have out there. Mm -hmm. You know, the calendar impacts virtually everybody, even many, many, many people who don't have kids in mm -hmm. school. Mm -hmm. If I'm looking for that, uh, that labor in the summer, right. uh, potentially as a business owner, it has an impact on me. If I have kids in school, certainly it impacts me. If I'm a teacher, it impacts mm -hmm. me. If I'm a coach, it might impact me differently than, than the, the rest of my teaching colleagues. So there are a lot of different viewpoints on when we should begin school and when we should end school. So we tried to bring as many of those voices together to come up with the ideal calendar, which doesn't exist. <laughs> uh, but at least we've got one where, where uh, we had a lot of voices weigh in on it. Right, so this will be a somewhat shorter summer for folks, if you want to think of it that way. Um, June 1st being the last day, August 23rd being the first day. Um, but just think you'll have an early out after that too. Mm -hmm. So um, thanks again for joining us today on Envision and hearing more about your school calendar.